fewer subjects will be offered to kinder to grade 10 students. As the DepEd launches the revised K-10 curriculum in select schools this year. The details in this report. The performance of Filipino learners in assessments have been lagging in the past two years, particularly those in elementary. That's according to Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte herself. The past years shows us the alarmingly poor performance of Filipino learners in national and international assessments. This brought to light questions on the effectiveness of the kinder to grade 10 curriculum. Duterte said one of the factors to this could be the congestion of subjects taught in schools. Combined to this, the overworked teachers. Both teachers and learners were overburdened with lessons and other school tasks and activities. With this, the DepEd targets to strengthen the quality of education in the country through the Matatag K-10 curriculum, which was launched on Thursday. Under this curriculum, the previously seven subjects taught in grades 1 and 2 will be cut to 5. These are language, reading and literacy, mathematics, makabansa, and GMRC or good manners and bright conduct. DepEd said this marks the return of GMRC after it was removed in the past decade. Meanwhile, there will no longer be a separate mother tongue subject but it will still be used as a mode of instruction depending on area. DepEd also said it will add subjects gradually as students' level goes up. For one, the language subject in grade 1 will be replaced with Filipino. Grade 3 students will have six subjects with the addition of science. Grades 4 to 10, on the other hand, will have eight subjects, Filipino, English, Mathematics, Science, Araling Panlipunan, Technology and Livelihood Education, MAPE, and GMRC. For those in kinder, their curriculum will be play-based, which means no particular subjects will be taught. The pilot run of Matatag curriculum is set this upcoming school year in select schools. Teacher will undergo trainings while the printing of new textbooks are underway. This new curriculum, however, faces criticism from the app teacher's party list. Tingin natin hindi ito magiging ano no, magiging holistic na education para sa ating mga kabataan at sana dinaan muna sa consultation ng DepEd etong uh, paggawa ng curriculum. For its part, DepEd said the new program underwent public review and got a 96% approval. DepEd targets the full implementation of the Matatag K-10 curriculum in 2027. For One News, Gio Robles, News 5.